Good morning or happy Saturday. As I promised in my previous post, it's time to make potato latkes. So if you watched my previous post, you know that I spent an exciting Friday night clarifying butter. And it's very easy. And I stored it in the refrigerator. And of course, this is what the clarified butter renders. This is the butter fat. And this is what I'm gonna use. And this is what makes the difference when you're making potato latkes. Because you have to fry them in a pan. Who knew? So I'm gonna um, melt all of this. I'm gonna just scoop out all of this uh, butter um, fat into my frying pan. And it will melt here in a few minutes. So um, it's, it's coming along nicely. And uh, it will, it has a smoking temperature of about 450, which is really cool. So you can cook it on like a medium high and uh, without it burning like most butters do. But when you clarify it, you can, um, you can heat the, the butter at a higher temperature. So let me tell you the ingredients. What I've done is I've taken my handy uh, grater, which I had to go out and buy a new one because I have searched and searched and searched for my grater, and apparently it was lost in the move. So I went out and I bought a grater. And while I was at it, I bought a new potato peeler that has the little pointy thing on the edge. So you can get those, you can dig into the potato and get that nasty little brown eye thing out every once in a while when you see those on your potatoes. And so I used baking potatoes um, and large baking potatoes. Now I peeled, these are so gigantic, I don't know. They're probably, obviously they're not orga organic um, because these look like they've been on hormones or something. But anyway, so I had two large baking potatoes and I shredded one of them using this side of the shredder. And here you go. So here's my potato already shredded. And what I'm gonna add to it is one, um, one egg and I haven't beaten it yet. I've gotta beat it. And you just take a simple fork here and I'm gonna lightly beat this egg. I'm not gonna beat it to death. So there you go, it's done. So um, if you're frustrated about something, don't take it out on this egg, okay? Don't start in the morning being frustrated, beating your egg to death. So I'm just going to put this beaten egg right down into the mixture, into the um, bowl. And I've also got three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Don't do the self-rising. Not good. I've got kosher salt because it's Hanukkah. Kosher salt. So I have kosher salt in a, um, in a handy little grinder. So I ground out my salt before I got on the video. And then I also had pepper. And so I had like a full teaspoon of pepper. And also the other thing that I'm gonna add this morning because I told you that we would make this a Cajun flair is I'm gonna take this Tony Sachery. This is called Tony Sachery's um, Creole seasoning. So these has a, this has a mixture of seasonings already. And this is like table salt in Louisiana. When I, lived at L when I lived in Baton Rouge at LSU, every restaurant I went to practically had Tony Sachery's. It was like asking for ketchup. Do you have any Sachery? So, um, but you can get this in the grocery store now all over the place. So I highly recommend this if you wanna give something a little extra kick, which we're gonna do this morning. We are going to give these potato latkes a kick. And so here, here it is, I've, I just, um, about a teaspoon of black pepper and Tony Sachery's, and I'm gonna put that in there. And what else do I need? Oh my gosh, I think that I need some, um, let me look, I'm trying to, I wrote it down because I couldn't remember. I think that's it. 
So I'm just gonna stir this together. I'm gonna stir these together and I'll let you see what it looks like in a minute when it becomes all moist and gooey and that kind of thing and I get the mixture going good over here. And my butter is melting in the pan, which is nice. This is gonna be so quick, you guys. It only takes about, mm, it, it's, it's ridiculous how easy this is. You know, the flour is gonna um, give it some body, I think. Uh, the egg is gonna make everything stick together. And so I have mixed, I've mixed these, this up pretty well now. So now you just form these, take these into, take this stuff into your hands and you form, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit. I cut it down and now I'm gonna turn it back up. Um, I have been cooking on a flat um, electric stove for like too long of a time. The place did not have a gas line to it and the um, that's the only thing about this house. But anyway, so if you're using gas heat, I can't tell you what to do, I have no idea. But I know that I'm on the number eight. I'm not on the high and I'm on the like the seven or eight setting on this stove if you have a um, GE profile stove, which is basically a medium high. So I'm gonna take these, take um, a part, I'm just gonna drop this, I'm just gonna form like a little ball in my hand here, a potato, and I'm just going to put this down into the butter. It's sizzling. I'm gonna do like, this will make just enough for one hungry single person. Hello, spread the word, last man before the freeway. <laughs> um, let me see. So I'm making these, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the pan. It's not like some big hoorah thing, but I will show you. And I'm gonna flatten these out a little bit. Don't use your hand like I'm doing. Use your, use a spatula for God's sake. And um, so you don't kill yourself. These are looking so good. There are so many people that would be proud of me right now for doing this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make five potato latkes, five. The, the size, you know, given the size that I'm making these, and I'll show you. And I have a large kind of like a deep pan that I'm using, which is nice. And that one stick of clarified butter makes six tablespoons. That's what it renders. So I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll show you what's going on over here. It is, by the way, it's a beautiful day in Wilmington. It is clear. It's gonna be about 55 degrees. Fabulous. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So what I've got here, let me show you, is here are my latkes, Ryan. And see how clear that butter is? And aren't you glad you clarified your butter? I'm glad, Dewey, that I clarified my butter. Um, so I'm gonna let these cook for about three or four minutes on each side. And then I'll be back and I'll show you the end result.